Okay guys, fish update time. Look at that. It's a filter. <laughs> oh my god, what's the world coming to, huh? A built up filter. It's uh, pretty basic. All it is is a plastic box with a little bit of filter material in it that I found. I drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom of the box. And just pump water from the tank into the box. Simple as that. It even adds oxygen to the water. Amazing, huh? It does work. Uh, it has some drawbacks. It's not big enough. Uh, you have to clean the filter out. I clean it out once a day. It does get blocked up. But it helps. I haven't done a water change since I've uh, built a filter, actually. Over a week now. About a week anyway. So that's cool. And on top of that, it's all off grid. This is running strictly off solar. You can see my other tank over in the corner here. Right there. That's where these fish originated from. It's empty now. Uh, all the fish I have left are in this tank. I'm not sure how many is in there. I would think around a hundred. And uh, we'll do a, after this, uh, I'll feed the fish and you can see how white they are. They're albino now. It's, they had white skin before, it's even whiter now. It's amazing, the fish are doing really well. Uh, growing faster in the big tank. Yeah, that's debatable, I assume they are. One thing I've noticed, is it seems to be a more consistent size now. Okay, let's take a look at the, the awesome solar system that we have here. <laughs> it all starts here. This is an 80 watt solar panel. As you can see, it's just sitting on the ground. <laughs> Nothing special. I will build a frame for it. Uh, I've been watching the last few days where the sun is and considering the time of year and how it's going to change. I was going to put it on the roof, but I'm not. Now I'm going to put it right beside this water tank here. But I have to build that. Won't take too long. So there's my solar panel. It's connected by booster cables. I've ordered some connectors and everything to connect this up right to this little battery. This is the old battery out of my ATV. It's not very good. That's why well, obviously that's why I had to replace it. But it holds a little bit of charge enough to run this. And the wires run from here to this inverter. This is a thousand watt with a two thousand watt surge inverter. It does the trick, it's very poorly made. The front panel here, that's the the cheap part, all this stuff. It's all really, let me turn it off, like it's not even, not even in there right, you know. And this air plug, that's a good thing, it accepts everything. No matter what crazy country you live in, your plug's going to fit. So that's a good thing, it, but it's really cheap not well built. This is a 12 volt to uh, 230 volt. So a 12 volt DC chance to 200 and, uh, 220 sits on there 230 AC. And then it just runs, I just run a small extension cord over to my pumps on this side of the tank to hear my filter on this side. So it's very simple. Very basic, that's the way I like to do things. I will get this permanent, I'm gonna buy a new battery next time I go to town. I had a battery and I accidentally gave it away. <laughs> but that's uh, the story of my life. But this is working. I don't like this tank. This tank has totally taken the fun out of it. I will do this totally different next time. Uh, probably make a top maybe out of plywood 
plywood is not very good here. I have some I have some new plywood here. I haven't tried it yet. I've never seen plywood with black skin on it before. But my experience with plywood in Thailand, as soon as it uh, gets a little wet, it uh, flakes apart. The glue is not very good or something. It's just poorly made. But maybe this stuff will be alright and this don't really get that wet anyway. Of course there's water underneath it so it will, there will be moisture. But we'll see. But what I'll do is, uh, let me see, make a, a square hole in the middle or maybe towards one side and cover the entire thing in. I have it so the top opens, maybe a shade cloth etch so light can get in. And I can actually open it up and see the fish because right now it's nearly impossible to see them. And this water is not spotless by any means. And it's got a green tinge to it, I'm assuming that's algae. But it's not bad, it's not dirty water. You can even see what's sitting in the, in the filter. Not that dirty. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put some food in here. Let's see if the fish will come up and eat. And you can see just how white they are. It's, uh, it's amazing, really. The other tank will be used for frogs. Not sure when, but soon we'll have a little frog farm where we'll use. We'll start with the small tank. And we buy the tadpoles and looking for tadpoles that are as young as possible. They want to see uh, see what happens when the the tail falls off and the legs start. I think that'd be a cool thing to watch. So we'll have a few uh, few frogs later on. Let's we'll see. Hopefully, anyway. All right, let's look at some fish. I'm trying to keep them to the top of the water to see how white they are. Look at that, huh? Seem to be a lot more uniform size now. All the same size. There are a couple of small ones in there. Okay guys, so well that's it. As always, thanks for watching.